What is going on guys? Ryan is here today. We got the top five formations to use an ultimate team. Now, shout out to my boy Casual Mighty, one of my good friends, known him for about four years. He gave me this idea for this video, told me to do it. Uh, he's been putting up tags, videos, tutorials, you name it, similar stuff to me. So if you guys want to go check him out, link in the description below. But anyways, don't you worry. I've got, got the five formations, we got the tactics for all of them, we got the player instructions for all of them. I'm going to explain why they're all so good, and why they're matter, and why they're the only formations you seem to run into nowadays. So let, let, let's relax, take a second to like, comment on this video, make sure you subscribe if you're new. Let, let's get started. Anyway, straight into it, formation number one, it's a classic. You know, it's the OG, it's the 4 2 3 one. Now, a lot of people are not running it this year, but still really effective. If you struggle kind of defensively and you want to be more compact defensively, and if you're maybe not a huge fan of these true ball counter attacking matters and you still like to pass it around, do a little slow build up, it's definitely the one for you. For these, I just kind of put in my team and show you how my team lines up in game when i'm using these formations you know don't don't worry about it too much using right back to the center back because it's matter it has to be done but let's get into custom tactics here we're going balanced five with eight depth now balanced because you don't really want to press with the 43 one because if you do it kind of gets out of shape and the thing about this formation is it's so in shape and so just nice defensively that a press kind of ruins that and messes it up with five just because balanced Eight there because I like the auto offside trap. I mean, still seven works as well. Seven right. I just slightly play slightly further up. And I feel like on seven, it's like a personal problem to mine. On seven though, it's a little bit. It's just too far back that people can finesse shot you and score. Whereas at eight, I feel like it's just without their range. If, if that makes sense. Offensive style, you want to play balanced. Uh, you if you use this formation only, you should set up a nud tactic with long ball just for a bit of variety. But balance is what you want to be used mainly with we've cranked it up to eight i just like to spread out the play but that's just kind of how i've enjoyed it recently um a lot of people are using like narrow and stuff and i feel like if you can really stretch out your opponent it, it works quite well plays in box four once again you're not committing too many numbers forward here the, the main advantage of this is you're not susceptible to counter attacks in this formation because so many people stay back and it's just really solid defensively that you don't want to overload the box and be caught out on the counter. And uh, free kicks and corners is your choice. Striker, stay central, get him behind. He just always gives you that option. Even if you don't counter attack, he'll constantly make runs, which will just drag the center backs away from you a bit, even if you're just dribbling up the pitch. Cam, stay forward. This is just so you always have that option because, like I said, this formation is very defensive and the team does come back a lot. But if you keep the cam on stay forward, at least you have kind of somebody to pass to when you do win the ball back um wingers are just or the wide cans i should say i just balance getting the box for cross so that they do go in for the rb x or the r1 square crosses uh here you want one center mid on balanced one on stay back cover center and full backs just stay back because it is once again something that's very solid defensively on to formation number two and it is rat season okay a lot of people you know a lot of these guys they, they talk a big talk you know, and they say, well, we're not gonna, we're not gonna put five tribute on YouTube. You know, we're not gonna do that. But hey, chat, you know how it is, man. If the, if it's effective, if it's meta, I'm gonna be telling you guys about it. Simple as, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you and be like, yeah, man, just use uh that uh that tree four one two. Yeah, that's that's totally effective. Nah, come on, guys, five three two is ridiculously good. It's a little more boring to play, a little slower place, but a little slower paced. But man, to be honest, formation is just a joke. It's so good. It, it just defensively, it's so ridiculous because it has the three centimeters and the five back. And then the problem is counter attacking. It's still really good because you still have your strikers up top. And because you're so solid defensively, they hold the ball a lot, which means the team naturally pushes up. You break on a counter attack. It's, it's a little too easy sometimes, you know, it's a bit ridiculous. But anyways, let's get into the custom tactic. So balanced. Five, eight, same as four, two, three, one. I don't need to explain it anymore. Here we go with long ball, and this is because once again you're soaking up that pressure, and as soon as you win the ball back, you want to release. You know, you want your team going up. You want I want to see runs from my strikers, and this is exactly what does it. Wooden plays and pass, just five balance, not too crazy. 
All right, so like I said, strikers get in behind. You just want instant runs, man. You want to win that ball back, and you want to see your striker just going for it. So as soon as you see him making runs, play that true ball. They're going to be in a lot of the time. Um, now, with the center mids, this is kind of how I like to set up. So I like to have my balanced center mid, which in this case, we're now centers on one side. And he's cover wing because the fullbacks do go forward to cover that. You want your middle center mid to just be a rock. So you have stay back, cover center on Vieira. And then on the right, you actually want somebody who can attack. So Atal is perfect because he has defensive stats as well. But if not, just use any attacker like a Rashford works here. Anybody that can go forward. Um, we get forward and cover wing. And then the, the wide players or the wing backs are on join the attack overlap. Formation number three is the channel favorite. I think it's your guys' favorite. It's my favorite. It's just iconic to my channel, I think. I think when you think of Rana's custom tactics, you think four, triple, two. It, it's just, it's just, there's something beautiful about it. I don't know how to explain it. I just love it. And it loves me. And I think a lot of you guys love it too. But yeah, so this is the four, triple, two. So onto the tactics. We got balanced, five width, eight depth, same old, same old, man. It's just the most effective to be using. I've been style, we're going with balanced width here. We're actually going with four nowadays because we like the wide cams to be narrow and to like contribute to the play to do little quick passes with the strikers with each other you know find each other in space maybe first time pass into like a first time face shot and just shoot straight away create chances like that like the box five just average you know not too crazy then i have both strikers i'm getting behind because it is counter attack season on the wide players you just have getting the box across same as the 4 2 3 one basically here, I like to have one CDM on get forward, not even balance, get forward because of the lack of a cam. This is just huge and cover center, whereas the other one is stay back, cover center. And then the fullbacks are just stay back while tying the pretty similar to tactics I've had all year long. You guys know these work, tried and tested. Anyways, not, not, let, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Formation number four, very similar to formation three in the four dribble two, is formation four in the four four two. Now, the benefits of the 442 compared to the 4222 is primarily the width. Okay, you get a bit of extra width, and you're set, you have center mids instead of CDMs, which means these guys are a little higher up the pitch, which means you can kind of press somebody better as well than the 4222. The best time probably to be using this if there's somebody using a press against you. If somebody presses you and you have a 442, you just your team is so spread out that somebody is going to be in space and you can ping that pass to them. But also then when you're counter attacking, the true balls from the right and left mid to the strikers are very nice. That diagonal true ball, like shown in my time tutorials, is just beautiful in this formation. So let's get into the custom tactics once again. Balance five eight. I feel like I'm just saying this so much, but just for every formation, pretty much. Except now, this is just the go-to tactics. They're just the best. And it's just facts. Defensive style, we're just going balance. Five width, because it's already pretty wide. Uh, I don't like having it any wider than this, because then I feel like the left and right mids do really disappear in the game. You just never seem to see them. Uh, plays in box five, just balance. You know, not too crazy. Then strikers, I don't have one getting behind. This is because there is no cam. And because I like to manually trigger the runs myself when I'm playing them. Uh, but... So basically, this is the best of both worlds because if they're unmixed and they're not on getting behind, it means they'll be there most of the time. Unless there's a blatantly obvious run, then they'll make the run. Uh, so if you need to, I can't pass with them. Uh, but also, if I need them to make the run, I just manually trigger. Just works the best for me. Uh, wide, I have no instructions. Just completely balanced. Just doing their own thing. Just vibing. Okay. Then you got Renato. Once again, you're attacking center mid. He's going to be on balance. Notice he's balanced and not get forward because he's a center mid and not a CDM in this formation. So you just want regular balance. Otherwise, if you have him get forward, he basically plays like a third striker. It's ridiculous. And he's never back on defense. Um, also, getting the box is key for this as well um, because he does contribute to that like extra man in the middle um, if you do end up going down the line with a left or right mid. Then you just got to stay back of center on your stay back CDM. Pretty self explanatory. And stay back on the fullbacks. Now, on to the final formation. The last custom tactics video was on. I got top 200 multiple times. It is, of course, the 4 3 1 2. Now, the nice thing about this formation is the press. It is just beautiful. The press is just so stupidly good. It's so OP. The AI does so much for you that you don't even have to worry about it. 
but obviously if you mess up the press you can't get counter attack easily so like i say you live by the press you die by the press okay it's just how it is here we go press out the possession loss five with eight depth you know eight depth so your team is still doing that offside try press out the possession loss is key in this formation uh balanced offensive style you got five width because you want to keep it fairly narrow eight players in the box because of the press you want all your players to be there to press them instructions just get them behind on the strikers stay forward on the cam so you have that little triangle that you can counter attack off uh then you got your left center mid on balance your center center mid on stay back and your right center mid on get forward cover wing left center mid is also on cover wing very similar to like the five tree two center mids and then your fullbacks in this are balanced, not during the attack, that's a little reckless, that's too much up the pitch. Balance is just perfect with the overlap instructions. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, Yo, I'll see you guys next time. I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame, though it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it all for you, come along and see it's true.